Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Bryce and today we're going to have a quick look at the uh, Simplify 3D 4.0 update. Alright guys, so uh, yesterday I got a very nice package of the um, 3D Printing Nerds Blue um, HTPLA from Protopasta. And this stuff prints absolutely amazing. Um, I was printing this little hex drawer that I do for all filaments, fancy filaments I get. And um, about halfway through printing this, um, I noticed all of a sudden uh, Simplify 3D 4.0 got released. So I want to print the drawer out, but I'm going to instead use Simplify 4.0, 3D 4.0 to try it out and see if I have any noticeable differences in uh, in printing quality. Um, I have all of the changes, or a big list of the changes, on my other screen here, and I was reading through them, and look, there's a lot of there's a lot of great benefits and um, additions to uh, to the software, but at the same time, I'm not seeing uh, really many things that would sort of benefit me like okay there's some uh there's some bridging um better thing some better bridging stuff uh multi-process multi vase mode uh external infill customizer um and a whole bunch of bug fixes and like your know, better rafts and stuff like that um the the new support material looks really good um but there's a few other bits and pieces that I noticed. Um, a lot of it is really to do with a lot more of the uh, dual extrusion or, um, you know, sort of ooze ooze stuff and all sorts of stuff like that. So I thought I'd give it a shot and see how it goes. Um, I have the drawer that I want to print. It's the drawer with uh, two compartments in it. Um, I just imported it so it's round the wrong way. So we'll uh, drop this surface on the bed. Um, and I'll probably rotate it. Um, we'll rotate it. So, uh, was that in the X? Nope. Wrong way. Uh, Z, possibly. There we go. Okay, so we've got that rotated. It's got the little knob on there, so I'm going to have to put support materials on it. So here's our little. A little window. Um, I haven't noticed much of a difference in here. I was having a quick look before. Um, there were some differences. Uh, and if you guys would like to know, I am definitely running version 4.0 right there. Uh, so we'll edit this process. This is just a regular PLA process I have. Um, the uh, name like that. So, when I'm going through, I'm looking through here, um, look, we're probably going to need some supports, so, for that handle, so we can generate some supports, um, they, I know a big thing that they added was you can now do supports through, uh, two different extruders, uh, I know Joel did a video on that as well, um, you can now put, uh, like PVA through a second extruder, um, I don't have a second extruder set up for this printer, so obviously it only offers me one. And I normally, I normally have four or six uh, dense infill um, support layers so that it's sort of when it contacts the part it doesn't leave massive zits. Um, uh, look, there's not really much to go by. Look, 45 degrees um, separation from part, that's all the same. Uh, temperature is the same. I'm printing with a stainless steel nozzle and I'm printing in the high temperature PLA so I need to print it a little bit hotter. Uh, fan speeds, that's okay. Um, my setups for everything doesn't really change. Ending script still the same. Uh, the speeds uh, still the same. Uh, there is some bridging changes. I did read somewhere over here that there was some sort of uh, implementation in bridging features. Um, I don't believe this part will need any bridging, so um, we don't really need to deal with that. Uh, look, there's nothing really else to, to really mess around with. I do want to see what this preview looks like. It previewed really quickly too. Um, as you can see, there's lots of 
It's nice to see that a lot of the, um, the shift lines are on one side. Uh, I did notice that was a big thing with the older versions. They just sort of shifted between areas really, really sort of anywhere it felt like. Um, and there's a couple of splotchy bits where it came onto this side. Um, I like this, the little tool head readout. Um, I'll drag this back. I reckon it's going to take about four hours to print. I know that's probably wrong. Uh, the infill looks good. There's some dense infill as it builds around it. Um, let's might have a look. I want to see if I can add the because uh, that's that's not a very thick pillar for the uh, for the infill, and I know for a fact. Oh, there's even some infill on the bottom. I'm using rectilinear. And that goes up. Um, let's have a look. Can we add the support rim? Um, where would that be? It's not here. So it's in the brim. Um, maybe not. What if I reduce this? Oh. What if I reduce that to zero? Does the brim now go around? It does, look at that. The brim now goes around the support material. That's something I would have liked to have seen though, is like maybe a uh, addition of where you can have brim around the around the support material and not around the entire um, print. Um, that would be definitely a big benefit of the update. Um, and I know this isn't like the best part to to try this, the, the new features out, but I really don't have uh, the printer doesn't really have like it doesn't have a dual extruder extruder or anything like that, so I can't really test out any of the dual extrusion things. Uh, I know Joel did, and he did a really good job. He printed out a bunch of the a uh, couple of models with like the uh, the Chaos Cortex uh, stitch and used the uh, PVA material to dissolve away the uh, the support material inside the teeth and stuff like that, so it didn't have any zits uh, inside the uh, mouth and stuff like that. Um, but like, other than that, look, I might give it a little bit more of a chance and do some bits and pieces. I do have another path for the hypercube I need to reprint. Um, the uh, fan duct needs to be reprinted. I accidentally blew a hole in it the other day, um, and that has some pretty big bridges on it. Um, but again, like they're not very long bridges, so I never really had much of an issue with it. But uh, let's print this out and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so what you've just seen is the uh, time lapse of printing this little guy. Um, I am sorry for the camera quality, I currently don't have a good setup, I've been moving some stuff around so the only camera I've got is the webcam, so um, this printed using the Simplify 3D 4.0 profiles, um, it printed really well, um, maybe a little too well. Uh, the bridging underneath the um, underneath the little handle here um, that actually bridged really nicely. The surface finish came out really well, as it always does. Um, the the actual brim around the uh, around the bottom of the part and the um, the support material that held really really well. Like it was really hard to get this off the bed, and uh, it fits quite well into the uh, into the little cubby right here um, it's a little tight but that's as to be expected but um, I just wanted to get this little this little video out I know it's not a proper full-on review or anything like that it's just like a quick uh, try of uh, simplify 3d 4.0 um, I won't really have a better sort of uh, sort of a uh, opinion about it until 
un until I've printed quite a few times with it and have messed around with settings and stuff like that. So, uh, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I do have another video on the way in the next week or so. Uh, keep your eye out for that, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, liking the video does always help, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.